Hi, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai, and today we're going to be setting up a DCA bot uh, strategy, but we're going to be doing it via alerts. So instead of setting up lines beforehand, as our regular DCA setup does, we're going to be uh, creating a new template that takes in alerts every time that you want a DCA. The setup is just a little bit different, so I'll walk you through that. So here we have uh, the simple buy and sell template. This is what we're going to use to get started. So if I click on this, it'll load that up. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and hit skip on the uh, setup, and I'm just going to go ahead and start setting up the strategy. The first thing is we have lock alert symbol, and because of that, we're not going to need these extra symbol equals symbol um, conditions. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove these. So these are checking symbol equals symbol, and that's really what this does right here. Um, so by checking this, it sort of locks all of these to it. If you want to uncheck that and have some rules locked, but other rules not locked, for example, if you wanted to have an Ethereum strategy, listen for uh, Bitcoin uh, alerts because, you know, Bitcoin, everything follows Bitcoin, right? So if you, if you have the Ethereum listen to the Bitcoin, you could have it behave differently directly off of those alerts before whatever happened to Bitcoin even reaches Ethereum's chart, if that makes sense, right? So that's why this is here. You can turn this off and then you can you can do that. With this turned on, uh, it makes everything more streamlined. You don't have to have these extra conditions here um, and we just filter it ourselves, okay? So besides that, let's go ahead and set up a DCA. So we want a long enter and long exit. Uh, we'll keep the short enter and short exit uh, as well. And this will just enter and exit as we expect. While we're in our trade, we want to set up a DCA. So the first thing is our DCA lines are going to be directly set up via alerts. So let's go over to the lines panel and let's make sure we don't have any take and stop or any lines. So we'll get rid of these. Hit the delete button and press yes. All right. Okay. So now that we have our take and stop lines removed, we'll just set up our DCA rule. So what we'll do is we'll go up to the rules tab up here and we'll hit a new exit rule right here. It says rule created. And if we scroll down, we can see that rule. Okay. So we'll name this rule our DCA rule. All right, and this DCA rule, we want it to listen for a particular alert, and then we want it to perform a increase position action. So I'll set that up right here, and we'll go over that here in a second. So for this DCA rule, we need an alert. So if we go over to our alerts, we already have our buy alert and our sell alert. So we need uh, to add one more alert for our DCA. Okay, so then this will open up the alert builder and we can have our uh, default type and symbol right here, which is all we need for this particular alert. If you have more fields, that's fine, um, but we're just going to use those two. We're going to name our alert, so we're going to say DCA. And for our alert type down here, instead of this by, we're going to say uh, DCA. Okay, and uh, so we'll be sending DCA to ourselves. That's fine. Um, and then we'll have our symbol set up as well. So we can go ahead and uh, click on our webhook URL, go over to our trading view, set up our alert. So I'm already in the middle of setting up an alert. So this is a good example, right? I would go to create alert, click on the create alert button, set up whatever condition that I wanted with whatever strategy or indicator that I'm using. And then I would paste my webhook into here. And then I would also come back to here and click on the message. And I would paste that into here as well. This particular window does show you the ticker on the alert instructions. I do replace this even if it's dynamic with the symbol because some strategies have a problem using the ticker sometimes. So if you are using a strategy and you do copy this and you find that something isn't working, uh, you might just need to have this say whatever symbol that you're using. So it might say bake or, um, you know, you could type in whatever it is that you need to do there. Uh, I believe I have bake selected, which is why it, it put bake in there. 
yeah, the, so that's just a note. Uh, if you do uh, click on this, you can also if we go ahead and press save. You can also always come back up to alerts and go to uh, alert instructions. And you can see what I mean by right here. It's going to put uh, bake USDT. So you can just grab it from here if, if you want. I just wanted to point out that they're slightly different. And that is for a particular reason. Okay, so now that we have our DCA alert set up, we can go back to our DCA rule. We can click uh, the custom alerts and we're going to be listening for type. So we'll click on that and double click to close. And then we'll click here and we're going to make this DCA because that's what we typed in. Okay, so now we'll go back to our DCA rule and we'll click on the custom alerts right here. And we'll select type because that's what we want to compare. So double click to close. And then we'll type in DCA right here because that's what we typed into the alert. And we'll have DCA show up right there. Okay, so now we're checking for our DCA. It... <clears throat> all right, and so that's all we need for our conditions. And then for our action, our increased position action, we'll click, click here and we'll type in the amount that we want. So the amount might be 100% um, of our position. Um, and if we did say 100% of our position, that's going to exponentially make our position larger. If you can imagine, we start with 100%. When we put in a DCA again, it's going to be double that. So it's 200% now, right? But then when we DCA again, it's going to be double the 200%. So now it's 400%. Okay. If that's what you want, you can do 100% of position um, and that'll work. Uh, most people want to use percentage of original amount. Okay. And this is 100% of original amount. And that would be Hey, I put in, you know, a hundred and next time I put in a hundred and the third time I put in a hundred each time, right? So that would be percentage there. You can also check dynamic right here. And if you wanted to send an amount through your alert, you could do that as well, right? And so I'll show you how to set that up in just a second. We're going to finish this and then we're going to come back and look at that. Okay. So if we hit close we now have increased position by 100 and that should be it so what's going to happen is we're going to send a buy alert the buy alert's going to walk through the uh, long alert and it's going to set our side to buy and it's going to place an order okay and then we're going to be in an order for a while and then we're going to get a dca alert it's going to come through we're going to run our dca rule and it's going to increase our position by 100% of the original amount. So after a couple DCAs run, we would be relying on an exit signal to send. Uh, remember, we don't have any take stops, so it's pretty important that we send that exit signal. Okay, and, and that would be this sell alert right here. We would be checking to make sure that we're on the right side so that we don't misunderstand a alert. And then we can do a close order. And that closes everything out. So that's how a trade would actually flow through. Now at this point, let's talk about one upgrade, which is what if you wanted to dynamically send your amount that you want to trade? Um, so tr most trading view strategies don't do a, a whole lot with amounts because you have to know what your balance is. And sometimes you might have to keep up with that. Uh, and sync it into trading view. We uh, get your balance, know what your balance is, and we can do all of that for you. Um, so we can do percentages really well, and most people will just do 100% of DCA, and that's fine. So if we want to make our amount type dynamic via trading view, we want trading view to send uh, the amount. And because trading view doesn't always keep up with our balance amount and we need to update it, um, we can do this one of two ways. We can either send the full amount in USD or, or in contracts, whatever the quantity is supposed to be. And we can have uh, TradingView send that if you're comfortable with it knowing your balance and margin and you're syncing that up in some way. Um, so to do that, we would go into DCA. Uh, we would uh, into our DCA alert in the alert builder, we would hit uh, add field. And then we would type in uh, our DCA amount. 
Okay, so we put in DCA amount for the field name, and then we would make this field a number, and we would make it dynamic because we're going to send information from TradingView. So if we look at this, uh, we might go and look at our uh, TradingView account. Uh, we would take a look at the uh, data window, and we would look at our plots and figure out what plot in our uh, strategy or in our indicator is sending us that number. So we would uh, figure out where it is. And uh, the best way to do this uh, is to do it by the plot number. So this would be plot zero. This would be plot one, plot two, plot three. As it goes down, it starts at zero. The top one's zero. The second one would be plot one, right? And so that's how it goes. You can also do it by name. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. It really just depends on how the strategy was written in the Pine script. Um, so I, I sort of always recommend doing plot number and you could say, hey, I wanted that yellow number. So that's plot one and there we go. Okay, so that's gonna send uh, our DCA amount and that amount um, is now just being sent as a number, as I said. Um, so we now have to sort of know if that number is the amount as I was talking about, like the, the USD amount, or it could be a percentage amount. If you have control of your strategy and you want it to change the amount of your DCA, um, depending on if, you know, it's a strong or weak or whatever, and you want to do that all in your pine script, you can do that. Um, and you don't have to send, you know, the USD amount, you could send 10%, 5%, right? So in that, um, field that we just made in the plot, you could be putting five or 10. And then at that point, um, we can come into here and when we do our increase position, we would uh, set our amount type based on what we're gonna send from TradingView. So this is the important part. So if we're sending percentage, we put percentage of original amount, right? Or, or maybe position, depending on what you're trying to do. But percentage of original amount is usually what you want. So 5%, 10%, you would put that here. You would say dynamic, and then you would uh, select your DCA amount, which is what we just set up. So now that is hooked up to this, and we know uh, what we want to send. Okay. So now the alert field is hooked up to this, and we are now sending a percentage for increased position. So if we wanted to instead do that uh, USD amount, we all we have to do is just change this to USD. Okay, uh, we could also send contracts, coin, whatever we wanted. Um, so if you have that exact amount, you can change that. If you do want to just send uh, the percentage, you can put that there. Okay, press close. And now we're all set up to uh, dynamically grab our DCA amount from TradingView. It'll put that in there and you can control that in your pipe script. Okay, and now we'll talk about a way that you can do this uh, just with trade lab, uh, if you don't have access to the pint script, uh, we can actually set up a strong and a weak, uh, context so that we can be sort of in the mode of strong or weak, um, and then decide how we want to DCA off of that without editing any pint script. So let's talk about that. Um, I think of trading like blackjack in the sense that the, the, the time, the more, the, the amount that you bet matters at the time. Uh, at, at a particular time. So you want to, you want to bet, um, you know, a smaller amount when you're less confident and a larger amount when you're more confident in my mind. And so just out of that, the idea would be sending something from trading view that tells you, Hey, this is either a, a weaker or a stronger DCA. So you could actually come into your DCA like this and just say strong DCA or weak DCA. Um, you could even have a separate alert completely that says I'm looking at some other conditions completely to tell me what I think about the market. And you could add a strong and a weak, um, alert, right. And then that could, uh, could actually turn on and off a variable. Um, so let's do that. Let's just, I'm going to show a couple ways to do this real quick. So a strong alert will do strong type strong and uh, we would set up our alert in trading view as we showed before we would hit save we have a strong alert we would set up a weak alert same way weak 
Okay. And then we would hit save. So now we have a strong and a weak alert and we could send these and then have them change a variable. So we could have a variable here and you could have the variable be true or false. And we could be like, uh, is confident. And that could be changed based on our strong and weak alerts, right? So then all I have to do is create a rule. I should be copy this copy below. So now we have two rules and, uh, oh, I copied the DC number. Oops. That's okay. Uh, so we would say strong and weak. And then at that point, uh, we would look for our strong and our weak. And, uh, we can then set our variables. We would do action set, select our strategy variables as confident. And we want to set that to true whenever we hear the strong and the strategy variables set is confident setting to false. So now you have sort of a context of whether or not you're confident. And so now that we have our strong and weak, we have that uh, is confident context. We can now uh, take our DCA and say, we're gonna DCA by two different values, right? So we could say, clone this, copy it uh, below. And so after making a copy of the DCA rule, we can uh, make this DCA strong and DCA weak, right? And then at that point, we could say our DCA is right here. The strong could be 100% and the weak could be 50%. 50% of original amount. And that would make our DCA strong uh, open double the amount that our DCA weak would, right? And so if we're feeling strong, we can send our strong alert. If we're sending weak, we can send our weak alert. And those can be looking at completely separate values from the rest of the, the uh, strategy. Those could, you know, be monitoring volume or something else and, and deciding if we're in a trend or not, um, whatever it is that you want to do there. So that's one way to do it. Okay, um, and so uh, to wrap up, what we did is we created a variable called is confident. We created strong and weak alerts, and then we doubled up our DCA uh, with DCA strong and DCA weak um, to increase our position by either 100 or by 50. And we also have uh, the strong and weak rules right here to set the variable that we made is confident. All right, and this is gonna conclude the setup for DCA. I believe this is all you're going to need. So once again, we're gonna have a buy come in uh, and then we're going to enter our trade. It's gonna flip over to the orange. Uh, we're going to send some DCA signals um, and it's going to increase our position uh, a couple times. And then at some point, we're going to send our exit signal and that's going to close. We have our buy alert, our sell alert, and our DCA. Um, and we, deleted all the lines so we're only relying on that exit signal okay so that's how that works uh, you will need to come into trade settings and set up your order type your amount type uh, how much you want to trade uh, your leverage uh, and then you might want to look at your time and force and your leverage type uh, definitely set up your symbol and your exchange up here you don't need to mess with side uh, your side is going to be a change for you based on your alerts so as long as you're sending your buy alert, you're going to be doing a long. If you send a sell alert first, you're going to be automatically switched over to sell. Okay. All right. Uh, don't forget to check this active box so that it's active. You can also click this little button up here. Um, and that, that green means it's running. You hit save and you should be good to go. So that concludes the DCA setup. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more updates. See you next time.